Is here in Group B. USPs take on the Glocks, and they'll get aggressive as well on the CT side. That's an Opsy getting things started. So does Flatru out there to the short control, getting a couple of picks, and then the walk-in from the apartments has to be the explosion. Quick out, got to get that bomb, bomb plant if preferable. Get the bomb uh, money bonus if you can. Simki will be able to get at least one pick to return for the T side line, but they are instantly back in with those trades and followed up upon by the T side line. Rig on down, GXX also to go. Synopsy, Julie started off this round, will now have to close it in the one on two, facing in against them, aware of their position. Similar story for the T side line, and he stands off against their positions. Finally takes down one and lines up the second against Brute, and it will be a pistol victory for Bad News Eagles. Nice nade damage being done to Z10 there. Ovens the man to get the opening kill into Senna, but Synopsy takes two back in the center of the bomb site as they walk out of round very early here into this round and just get ripped apart for it. Even the backstab being pushed in by GXX sees one. Long range fight not quite as successful, so it's a three on three, and there's a bit of rotation room for the T side. 50 seconds on the clock. I don't know if Flatro is aware of the underpass take that's coming in from Z10 and actually will drop for it. The man up. Way back into the man advantage for the T side, but can they hold off against Synopsy? We've been a major thorn on their side. Avin, the first man forward, low HP, dead to right. Second swing dealt with by Brute. And now Rigon is alone to clutch. Now rotating out for the market control. Resmoke off there towards top connector allows them to plant open for both jungle and con. And go for the ninja defuse from this position, which seems to be the call that he's going to make. Nade also backs up onto the defuse. He'll hold it, and Brute's having none of that. Straight spray right to the head. Advantage for Bad News Eagles for now. We'll try to swing that Deagle up to grab that gun as well, so there'll be a covering position. Senna holding the B defensive on his lonesome. He's going to need some backup to get up here relatively soon because they're making their moves, and he's not going to last long. Good entry there from Brute. Open up that B side. AWP on the rotation out from Mark. It's going to strike again, but losing a teammate on a side directly. GXS is going very aggressive to deny the bomb from going down. Out there towards a car position. Choffo is just desperate for a trade at this point. Gets caught by Synopsy instead. That M4 locking in the Galil of Avan alone towards me. A one on three. Gets that first. Aware of the second. And should have a decent evening with the way GXX is holding from. He's concerned about him first and foremost. And rightfully so. Quadra for him in the round, as you mentioned. Going aggressive to deny that bomb plant. Him. He's the only player that can do it. And it started off with this pick towards top mid. And it finished the round with quite a few more. Beauty of a sequence. And a careful default is, the, is going to be their approach. Similar story for the CT forces. One flat route up in the mid position ahead of short. Receiving the firefights from the AK. And with a combination of the HE of Rigon, they'll be able to take that first casualty. As their tenacity are struggling to work the mid control because of the overextensions out from Con towards short, the utility towards the top mid boxes. Haven has been successful with entries and lurks out here towards Palace previously. Rigon, though, catches the timing, overextends and grabs up that AK. Mid control, a, a massive thing to take if you're a, a T side. Do we get a secondary smoke down there to a block off position? But Namana's going to get caught by Latro up in the connector control. Smoke's fade off is going to get seen. The AWP forced to respond back, but by this point, he's in a one versus four with one kill to his name and three more to go. Bomb out in the open. When they beat 500 in the quarterfinals in the first open call, it was out on Mirage. They also beat the Estonian team of Sync that's in there with, with J.O. And, and the likes of Fate. So some nice nade Molotov combination. Forced to utilize that smoker follow-up HE. Dags him to 5 HP. Could well have been his demise. Regon's going to get flashed off as well. So they've got to press forward and try to get these picks in finally. Hammond is down. The AWP able to respond though. And the AK now needs to back away before he falls. Simki goes for a very aggressive face and he pays for it with his life. The four on two now for BNE. So heavy aggressively out towards Palace and then Senna extremely passive. In from the bench control. Waiting for a walkout from the apartments. Easy pick. They are getting absolutely pumped right now. And I guess if you're BNE, this is kind of what you want to take, right? A confident affair so you can walk into that Cloud9 matchup with as much of a momentum boost as possible. The half by, I think GXX has just seen the man. Yep, Nemana contested. Nades down to 74 HP. Sprayed upon by the player and connector. Actually gets the damage onto Rigon, who still finds Simki. He wasn't expecting him to be that close. 
GXX now hearing footsteps. Avlin gets a decent deagle shot. And now the AK needs to provide a bit of support because Rigon's in trouble and will go down. Three on three, doing well with his low HP. But there is a second gun in the hands of Z10. And JXX gets smoked off out there towards jungle. They don't know about center into the position, and Flavoru gets caught trying to jump out of window. Emina with the pick, Avon with another. The AWP can strike back, but now needs to win against two more players. Switching to their AK, neither of them were at CT spawn, and there was one man ready to receive him. The footsteps are the flashbang turned into. There comes the spray down a half HP. Last man standing. Got to line up the headshots quick. Aim punch. Be against Brute in this context. GXX checking all positions over at Dark. You connect to control. Face in, didn't see his man. All the smokes come out, but Brute couldn't capitalize. Three HP somehow alive in this exchange. On the defuse, he'll tap it. Try to force the man out, but the HP and differential way too much to handle for GXX and Brute to make the move. Rigon has already been tagged to 17 HP, though, so it is a limited defensive in spite of the three-man stack. Fourth player indeed does join center. Good for the two kills outside of apps. Blackshaw involved as well against Nemina. Avon with a trade back the same. Down a low HP for his own part and the CTs have locked it in. Synopsis backstabs. GXX is dealt with by the Orpa and Rig on low HP still sees his man but prematurely fires. Still finds the engagement and Avon is all alone. Now with a lot less HP than even Rig on in this case. The USP would be enough to get the frag. And even then the backstab there to close in the pins with Synopsis. It's only a matter of time before Avon falls and there he goes to the half advantage for Bad News Eagles. And again, can continue to close the gap for Z10 or get the lead well and truly in the favor of Bad News Eagles. One pick for GXX, Joffo with a return, Simki with a follow-up. Advantage for Z10 as that bomb is out in the open, has been seen and should get planted. Any denial attempts from Rigon, he does see several players out in the open, struggles with his spray, does come up good against one man, but the trade is still good for the T-side. Senna's working on the edge of this top con smoke, flat roo as well. Roshan Molotov sending forward into the bomb site. Doesn't see anybody there though. Firebox is being contested. Is it going to get red? Tetris has already been seen. Avin engaging. Simki there with the kill and Senna in a one on three. He can do his best to engage, but only going so far. Nemina with a 2k. Quite a few players in Palace actually. It won't be a dive out straight away. It's just going to be a walk instead. And Synopsis is going to get caught off guard for it was not expecting that without an explosion as same case for Rigon. GXX can get one back with the AWP with nays towards that default position. He saw the head of one. HG is continuing to pour against the man and finally Simki's going down. Three on three. Flatcher and GXX get two more and Avon's all alone to be dealt with by the quick face and Bad News Eagles will reinstate some confidence to close out the half at 9-6 up. Locks in for the second pistol of this matchup. A bit of a mid walk, but mostly in the apartments is where they're going to go. And two players will get cut down for it. Root and Avin taking out Synopsy and Flatra respectively. And that bomb is forced to stall and retreat back out of position. Right, this could be good info for the IGL to Manor. Just not overextending and not over rotating out to the B site. Instead, maintaining window control and maintaining the vision out there to top con. Another good shot in from Brute. Not quite coming the way of the T-side line. Still no trades back for Bad News Eagles. They will force themselves out of position. Senna's got to be careful here. Does find that one pick, but only able to find the one. No follow-ups, no secondary kills. Trades back from Simki immediately. Rigon now all alone. Bomb being seen, making its way into the A site. Has no choice in the matter. He's got to try and force this pick and the player at CT. Seen one, aware of the second. Dealt with by Simki the same. Bonus round for the time being here. And his Eagles facing it against Joffo. Didn't even consider the idea of defending himself. Well, that spot was going to come in much earlier. Instead, it's a straight spray through. Flatra gets two. And Brute is forced to return fire onto Rigon. So it's a 4 3 advantage for Bad News Eagles. Synopsy lurking out of that palace position that might catch the likes of having off guard if they're not careful. Or oh, lurk play into the A site. The bomb is still in over at the apartments. They actually could still consider the rotation considering how much map control they've gotten out here and the rotations that are coming in from the CT forces. The man up somehow gets flat throw over at Murder Hole. And now the two T side players are going to have to commit. The counter rotations coming back into the A site defensive. Synopsy has got to deal with at least one. Oh, this is all timing. I think he actually dies here from CT. Surely he must. Player over at ramp as well. Swing forward. There's the SMG burst. And Bad News Eagles may have made a key mistake in their rotations. 20 seconds. GXX drops the bomb. And that should be round done. Center one on three. 
Fighting back to the backside, tap burst through Avon, faced upon, adjustments there to the second, but time has run out, Brutes watching the bomb, knows it's not going down, at least won't go down in time. Out in the open, he's forced to save his life. And zero tenacity, will even count on the first pick that could well come through from Brute, they're not facing towards his angle, they're keeping their heads underneath his cross, their placement, and the AWP caught off by an AK instead. That's an important strike. Simply looking to try and see if he can catch a response. Gets the shadow just on the edge. Does Senna want to try and walk forward to try and get that trade? Avon gets out for just one before being traded. GXX was not ready for that window to be cleared and opened up for a chance. Simki waiting, bomb known, rotations from Joffa will be a little bit slow, but as is the attack from Bad News Eagles, they are taking their sweet time with this and they won't even check the back of Dark. Bomb dropped in the open. That's the 100 HP player of Synopsy as well. The man up. Alongside Joffo peeking into flat throw and GXX has just got to save the AWP. He has no opportunities, no chance at this clutch. And b &E in the elimination game. That would be wild. And it, it's happened every single group so far. Every single group from last week's event to what we had yesterday. We're getting upsets in these best of ones. We're getting teams that we're not expecting to lose in opening matches. b and &E. Bad News Eagles maybe having the top 30 position question. They're only at number 28. They start to lose placings as they lose out in this group. They've at least caught off Simki with a little bit of aggression in towards mid. Avon's going to get caught off guard with the mass amount of T-side forces facing. And Rigon's Deagle able to close out Akel. It's a five on three for Bad News Eagles here. They're defending that back line with a large majority of presence towards that A-heart A-site anyway. Now, this is uncomfortable right now for Zero Tenacity. They could just get eco here. An AWP picked up, an, a an AWP and an AK to work with these upgraded pistols when the defenders are slightly nervous down here on A. Nemanha just tries to make that info play. There's a lot of damage gone in the way, though. 12 HP for the man. He's now a non-entity. Joffo caught off by Synopsis. He wasn't aware of how many players are out there in Sniper's Nest. Brute's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders on to B&E to take this comeback, to be able to win this entire best of one. You can't oh. be losing rounds like this. It gets more expensive. They'll still be able to buy in the next round, but this was a strong gift for B&E and probably just what they needed as well to kind of rock the mental ever so slightly for their opponents. Missed opportunity for GXX. Still top fragging of his team, but not of the server. Brute's taken off. With his own AWP skills, Simki takes in the opening frag. Nemana gets a pick back as well towards the center of the bomb site. Flatra able to turn back one more of his own as Simki gets involved in zero tenacity. Lock it down against Bad News Eagles. And just unreal confidence to go for that opening pick down there towards underpass. That started off the round for Simki. He gets traded, but Avon out on the side directly gets punished. He needed that kill. He needed to drop the AWPA. The overzealous face now providing a two versus two. Bad News Eagles. There's the flashbang to Lowen around that corner. He goes for the dry face and loses his life. Center tagged to four. And the AWP known. Desperate for wall bangs. Desperate for blind picks and unable to do so. Zero tenacity. That was a perfect chance to put Bad News Eagles back into their own situation, their own dire straits. Seven apiece. I think that's actually cost them the game, uh, to be honest. Like, we might look back at that round because. Think about it from the perspective of B&E. You have a 4v2, you're probably not anticipating them to get a bomb plant. You play out the crossfires, you're looking at a 13 to 10 scoreline. The pressure's back on, it puts B&E in an uncomfortable situation. Still got a FAMAS, a broken investment. Despite of the gun by that they have, the man up finds Van Flatro. So that's one kill. Is there any more out of it? It's a very awkward space with Simki, but there is a response from that dark player. Rigon diving in against the man, and he loses his life. The man, ah, oh, beautiful stuff. What a hold. He could be on for more here. He actually might make it a 4K. Fighting up against the AWP, they lose it. And we've seen this before. Do not fight GXX alone. Brutes facing Senna down. GXX is now all alone. One on three, caught off with a missed shot. And Brute is a monster, but not as much as... It's being watched from Simki. The AWP can be able to work in on the crossfire. Off angle. Just gets cleared. A lot of damage down to Regan, though. 15 HP. One good HE can end his life as Brute is actually caught off by a quick face. 
No kill connected to the AWP itself. Rigon is going to get traded by Avon, so back to a 4v4 we go. But that site's looking pretty open to me. See several, including the player out of Palace Walk. Flatro there with the kill. Bomb plot will be secured. I don't think the retake will be on here for Zero Tenacity. They're backing off the save. Keeping closer. Orp has at least landed Synopsy, and it looks like they will maintain their lifelines here. Players in apartments will not be able to reach contact just in time. Engagement from Rig on the one headshot as he himself got dinged by that M4, but shots ringing out. Information gained on two of the three pivotal rifles. Z10. Actually get the opening frag. GXX caught out there towards a palace walk from Joffo. That's a good start. Now, what else can they gain out of it? Center of the bomb site with backup making their way in with the pistols. Nade sent towards Banana. Just dropped out of that HE body blocked and damage sustained. But he still gets rig on. And these guns really step up to the plate right here. Oh, even the pistol gets its own. Flatra down. Center. A one on five against zero tenacity. And just the rifle striking, the aggressive play out there to the apartments works out nicely for the NWP. To For and the Orb trying to lean in here from the CT side, the aggressive stance, the bad news, the Eagles have taken many times in the first half, and their CT basis and Brutes and Simki will make it work for them. GXX takes that Orb fight versus the Orb with the CT side, will not be able to catch the player over in Con, and Senna has just missed his chance to catch the player over at Short. Doesn't matter for Flatro though, he's caught the man that's with three on three, making it two as he opens up the a bomb sites. That does it by himself. They lose quite a bit out there towards the mid control and they rely on flat route to open up A to get a couple of kills. Up on the stairs, the second smoke does not come out to connect to the jungle or, or, or the combination smoke. And Farn not going to be denied as GXX gets his up. Yeah, they're still in the previous round, enabling this buy to come in from them in the first place. Synopsy has been seen, not quite dead to the hands of Brute, who's aware of his position, and will land against the man. The man is AWP, the secondary orb in this context, taking out a player, tagging up one more in Dark Simki, able to get one more pick back. The man is out of ammo, though, going to burn to his death. But GXX is all alone as the rifles have picked up the pieces on the center of the bomb site, and Zero Tenacity are not done yet. We'll play the full 30 rounds. Set piece execution for the A bomb site as soon as the incendiaries will clear up. No one in at Palace, so no one's worrying about that smoke put out there by Namana. And Sinar just about gets dealt with. The Tech Nines can converge and get a couple more picks, including the AK picked up by Rigon. Four on two, Bad News Eagles about to force their way into victory. Now the CT retakes are just going to take so long. Out from mid and out towards CT. There's even a backstab for GXX. He's going to play this on the late round getting into Con. They need a frag and they're going to get nothing. Especially at CT. The Orc fires away. Also gets nothing. Can finally isolate Synopsy, but no more than that. Flatro there to close it. 16 to 14 for Bad News Eagles. A hell of an effort for zero tenacity. But ultimately, they do come up short. And it will be Bad News Eagles in the qualifying game.